Hi YouTube. So I'm gonna show you a video well a picture of the old um, shelf that I was going to use which was black but as I was moving it outside I tried to paint it gold it broke apart so I actually ended up buying a new bookshelf which looked like this before I put the, the roses on the back and I didn't get a chance to put how I a DIY of how I put the roses on the back all you have to do is pretty much buy some wallpaper or some cardboard that has print on it and you just glue it to the back of your shelf as you're assembling it as you're putting it on as you can see the very bottom of it I didn't get a chance to fill that section because I didn't have enough paper but I'm not gonna worry about it because this section below is going to have shoes there or something there where you're not gonna see the bottom of it anyway it's just the top area I did want it to be decorative because um, I'm going to use this as a decor my in my office that I'm actually doing some renovation in the basement area and I'm going to be adding um, some other elements to it and when I do my videos I want this to be kind of like the 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 mirror piece the piece in the back that kind of is detailed when doing my my uh, videos nonetheless this is going to be a DIY um, of the other elements that I'm going to be adding to this chef I wasn't actually sure with this shelf if I should be coloring or uh, pretty much painting the sides of it gold. I know that my concept in my room is going to be pink, powder blue, and gold. So initially I was going to spray paint the black um, bookshelf gold, but I was thinking this is a natural color so it probably goes pretty well with it anyway. But let's get started on the first step. Again, if you want to know more details of how to put this in, you'll see how I actually put in the glitter portion at the base of the shelf and that would give you a little idea of how I put the back paper in. Um, let's get started. So first things first, I know that on one of these shelves, I want to do like a fur and I know I was going to use pink. So I'll leave a link as to where I got this pink fur. It's actually cheaper to get a rug. That's fur on like eBay and that's the link I'm going to give you. And you can actually just size it up exactly where you want the fur to go. I'm also going to be using this fur on a chair that I will be refurbishing. I will be, that's a different video. I'm going to be spray painting one of my old chairs. Um, because again, I'm doing some renovation in the basement and I want my room to look very girly. I'm very girly myself. So, um. Um, I'm going to be doing a chair that has a fur cushion to it but with this you can measure it out exactly what you where you want the fur to go I'm going to go with this the second shelf so with the second shelf or any shelf in general you may want to measure off exactly where you want your fur to go if you don't want the fur to go on the wall area which I don't mind it going up some that's no issue for me so what I'm going to do is pretty much um, line it up here and I'm going to start actually gluing and then once the, once the glue dries I will cut it exactly to where I want it to be and this is one of the glues that I will be using it's a spray adhesive and you need to read the instructions because you actually have to spray both surfaces wait about two to three minutes before you actually put them together so that's the next step Okay, so it has been about two, three minutes. I let the glue sit and now I'm going to combine both um, items together. I'm going to be putting the fabric onto the actual shelf and I actually do have a glue gun, my handy glue gun for the sections that don't stick right away. It's pretty sticky, you guys. I'm hoping I'm not blocking the view. But this damn thing is like super sticky, super duper.
So I will be using my glue gun here to do the sides or any areas that's sticking up. I do want to also use a little Gorilla Clear Glue because it's so strong. Even doesn't it doesn't dry as quickly as the two glues I just put on. So this will have to just um, stay on there until it actually dries. But I use a Q-tip to go in because the top of it broke or the top of it got filled with glue and with Gorilla Glue. If you don't wash it before it dries, you just add a luck. So I'm sticking the um, Q-tip in there and I'm going to put it on the sides. Okay, now it's time for me to cut the bottom portion. Looking to see exactly where I want to cut it. If you cut too much, it's better than cutting too little. Because I can always curve it under. Okay, so I've waited the time. Now I'm going to touch both items together, fabric touching the bottom of the shelf, firmly pressing. And if you notice anything is lifting again, that's why you have the glue gun, because the glue gun, you're able to um, quickly, quickly get the adhesive. That's why you use the glue gun, so it can quickly dry. So this is the third shelf. And this is the glitter paper that I will be using. I'll put the link below as to where I got it from. It's actually glitter cardboard, which is the same type of um, paper that I use for the back splash of the bookshelf. So I've already sprayed the very base of the shelf. I've sprayed a little bit more because it's probably been longer than needed. Now I'm going to put both together. Very sticky. If you don't like your edges curving up on the shelf, you can always use a knife to cut along the edges. And I'm just trying to fix. Let's see how it will look. So that means I will have to use some more spray to spray along the edges. So what I'm going to do to hold it, I'm going to get some clips. I didn't expect to have to use clips, but to hold it in place, you're going to need some clips. And this is the clips here. So to hold them in place, you're going to need the clips.
Okay, so I actually decided to add um, the fur on the side of the shelf as well. And I think I'm going to do that with the glitter too. I say, why not go all the way out? So I am adding, again, the fur to the sides. And all you have to do is some white paper. And keep putting the paper along the side to where it fits. And you will actually use tape at each section and tape off. See, this fits perfectly here because I took some 8 by 11 paper, I kept measuring it along, and I put the clear tape on the edges to make sure it perfectly fit. So that made my own pattern, and that's what you'll have to do to make sure that the sides um, don't come all the way to the edges of the shelf and that it fits perfectly. So what I'm going to do next is pretty much spray. I have to go get some more spray. I'm actually going to be doing using a Gorilla Glue adhesive spray, which I think is also good. I've used this in the past. This is pretty good. Now, I'm not exactly sure how you can see, let me zoom in, the actual glitter. This is glitter paper that was used to cover the bottom portions of the shelf. Again, the video that you see prior to this one um, gives you a breakdown of how I did it, but I actually ended up changing a couple of processes that I went through to do the shelf. So that's what I wanna go over. And I actually didn't think I was going to add crystals to the shelf, as you can see that I did, but it really does give it a very um, elegant and girly look to it. So I definitely think it makes it stand out. So I'm going to cover a couple of things that I didn't cover before in the previous video. And that way you can get a better understanding of how to create this for yourself. And if you can look at the very top of the shelf, I kind of did like um, a cutout. is the top of a heart. And I added some embellishments of bedazzles right at the very top of it as well and I would go over that quickly as to how you can get those to stick because it is a piece a piece of jewelry that I pretty much cut up and put on the shelf so um, again I'm hoping that you're able to see this because um, the camera that I'm using has a little glare but let's proceed so what you're seeing here which I did in the previous video and I showed you is this paper. This is the paper that you can get from Hobby Lobby. This is where I got this paper. You may try um, any craft store within your local community in your, um, in your area to see what colors they have and what options they have as far as paper. Now this is the color that I wanted my shelves to be. And what I did for the shelves is that I actually ended up measuring because I noticed that it's, it's a lot neat, more, it looks more neat when you actually do um, measurements and you can do measurements with um with this like a ruler or you can just use a pattern create your own pattern like you can go along here like this and see how long it is how wide it is and ended up cutting off the ends of it so it fits inside of the shelf very neatly and precisely okay so this are just some leftover scraps that I have and I think I showed you the floral paper. This is pretty much like cardboard paper. It's very thick and this is what's in the back panel of the shelf. So what I did before I actually put the shelf together, I laid this flat down on the back portion of it and what I used to make it stick is some adhesive spray. And you can get this adhesive spray at any of your local stores. Walmart has this spray. You put it on both the back of the actual paper as well as on the shelf or whatever item that you're using. You wait for about 5 to 10 minutes. The, the instructions in the back will tell you exactly what to do. And then that's when you combine both, both surfaces together. But what I noticed to give me the most secure um, and high quality results of this is that 
if I notice anything sticking up, especially when it came to this fur portion, and again, this fur portion is just pretty much you can get fur fabric or you can get a rug, a fur rug from eBay, and you could actually use that and cut it off to um, create this fur or cloud looking. I think it is cute as to pink, but I think it would really look cute if it was blue because that way it would um, kind of look like clouds. So anyway, to get back to how I put this on, pretty much you can use... A staple gun like this, which goes through wood, only wood, and you will be able to actually clamp the sides of the glitter paper or any of the paper or even the fabric to make sure that it stays on and that it doesn't come off. And this is something that I didn't do in the first part of the video that I noticed that it's extremely important to do in order to have your um, custom item last longer. So, for each part, which I would say you have one part which is the base of the shelf then you have the two sides of the shelf then you have the back panel of the shelf and then you have these outer layers here and in order to get this exact uh, measurement of this side panel here you're going to of course have to use transparent paper or you can get any type of paper but you're going to have to um, when you put your paper towards this, you're going to have to use your pencil and trace along the lines as to where the cutoff section would be. Then you'll cut it off with your scissors and you'll measure up your cut version up to this part here, like so. And then you'll put your um, spray paint on the, the surface base of the actual shelf and then you'll again put it on the back portion of the paper and then once you do that after you allow the dry time to accumulate you put the surfaces together you hold for I would say you will hold for firmly 30 seconds in place and remove your hand see if it comes loose if it doesn't you want to make sure you secure it again by putting the staples in the section and I try to put the staples in the section um, where I know I'm going to put my crystals. This is exactly why I use the crystals here. Another reason why I used them was to cover up some of the staple uh, marks that actually got on the, um, the shelf. So if you can see the crystals there. Aren't they cute? really cute so I again use that adhesive spray along with a little um, glue gun and I put it around there and I held it for about um, 60 seconds one minute and I allowed it to dry fully once it dried fully it is not coming off another thing that you're going to notice about um, trying to get your the paper to fit your full shelf piece is that you, there's going to be some issues with the bottom portion of it now let me show you what I mean by that is that once you put your paper here you get it leveled you're going to have excess of paper you're going to have a little more paper here so what you want to do because you want the paper to come all the way down you want it to come down enough where it you're able to bend it underneath like this underneath the actual shelf so right at the bottom here I had initially glued it with um, hot glue as well as the adhesive spray but I was noticing that it was still coming up so again in order to secure it you're gonna have to staple underneath making sure you're stapling directly on the paper so that way it will not come up now you do see I, I have some very nice creative bright designs throughout this room this is my new space and I actually did do a video showing the full room along with some uh, quick DIY tips on each of the items that I have created itself I also have in another video where you could um, win this box here I'll design the box that you want based on, of course, the colors that you request. So go ahead and check that link out below. So let's get back to the shelf. So when it comes to the very top portion of the shelf, and I'm not talking about the candy um, signs there. I'm talking about the actual heart. If you can see the heart, the heart there, the heart shape. Now, how I got that was because this is pretty long. So I had to make sure I used the longest portion 
of this paper or if you you don't you can't find um a cardboard that's as long as this then you're going to have to combine your papers together and so in order to get this very top portion what i did was i pretty much folded my paper in half after i measured how long this was going to be i folded it in half like this let's do it the other way i folded it in half like this and then I decided what design I wanted to put in there. And I know that making a heart is pretty easy. So once you fold it, all you have to do if you want to draw the heart shape, which may be easier, this is a heart shape right here. You can draw a heart shape, but making sure that you only go partially down so it won't go all the way down because you want it to connect to the base part of the shelf. So it probably would be like right here. So you'll just cut this portion out and then it'll open up. So I hope this gave you a better understanding how to create your own glitter shelf. This was an interesting process for me. It did take me quite some time to actually finish it in its entirety because I was coming across errors here and there, but ultimately I think it came out pretty well. Leave your comments below. Tell me your experience if you're trying to make this item. Give me a beautiful thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already and have a creative day. Bye-bye.